coming up on this episode. Hi, we have like a really bad situation here. So a dog attacked another dog, got it by the nose, I mean crushed. Dr. Cosmo and Dr. Choi, you know, want to put the dog to sleep. The owner's crying, saying she doesn't want the dog to be put to sleep. The problem is that the upper par portion of the, ne of, of the jaw is split and broken. So it's preventing the dog from breathing. Dog, I'll put it in his face is literally hanging off. Okay, but... You can't, she's out there crying not to kill her dog, not to let her dog die, and you're recommending euthanasia. We can't do that. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can. No, you can't. So you're dog's saying there's nothing medically crushed. we can do. This dog's face is crushed. So you're saying there's nothing medically we can do. Medically? No. Surgically? Possibly. Okay, then that's what we're going to hang on to. Oh, Possible. God. Okay? All right? This is the shit you dream of. Let me talk to the owners. Get that close up of that. If you miss that, I will kill you and feed you to my dogs. You need to get me. You just need to stabilize them for now, okay? That's what you need to do. So here's the problem. I'm not giving up on your dog, but here's the problem. The problem is trying to save your dog could kill your dog. We have to do a surgery just so that your dog can breathe and the surgery alone on a dog that's in shock could kill your dog. But I just need you to know and understand it's a very, very bad situation. What happened to your dog is, is criminal. I'm gonna do everything we can, okay? So I'm gonna tell them that we have to bring them in real fast and bring them out. Hi, we have like a really bad situation here and um, I wanted to know like, like, okay, <laughs> I don't even know how to handle it. So a dog attacked another dog, got it by the nose, I mean crushed this puppy's nose. It's a, like a big bull, like a big pit bull, got this tiny boxer, like 30 pounds. Dr. Cosman and Dr. Choi, you know, want to put the dog to sleep. The owner's crying, saying she doesn't want the dog to be put to, put to sleep. The problem is that the upper par portion of the, ne of the jaw is split and broken. So it's preventing the dog from breathing. What can we do? So anything we can do, it's, it's flapping down. So no, it's not breathing through its mouth. It's all pretty much broken half. Like, you know how like your bottom jaw would snap down? This it seems to be snapped up. I was wondering, is there any way you could come by after work just to stable? Fuck. Shit. Cause she said, as long as we could get an airway going, she said that it should be okay till she gets. That's what we're trying to currently do. Right. No She's in Bakersfield. That's the problem. So she said, get me some photos and I'll tell you what to do. So I'm gonna get some photos from um, Alma. Is there any way we could just put something here? You know, like when we do with jaws, mm -hmm. you know, to just leave it open, it, open enough it so we can make a bridge and wrap it. Because it's a, it's a puppy, it's going to start to heal right away anyway. She said the airway is your number one priority. I guess the, um, the owner's mom was trying to uh, just go in her house and uh, close the gate to her um, house uh, when the um, pit bulls next door tried to attack her and bite her. So her dogs came out and started barking and the puppy was able to put her um, 
her head under the uh, the gate and that's one of the pitbulls grabbed her by the face and hang out for like 10 minutes. You need to report this. But you need to get the police. You need to get animal control. This is fucked up. And it took him 10 minutes to separate him. Yes. No, he, no, he's, because that's where the problem is, is that the, it, it was crushed, you know? So when the neighbor didn't know what to do, um, he didn't want to hit or do anything to his dog, so. They weren't able to take him apart till 10 minutes. He actually sprayed roach bait or some kind of spray for the roaches um, for both of the dogs. That's when he finally let go. Come on, people. The dog is going to die. We make one. You make a trach too. Go ahead, Doc. She said you need to put a tracheotomy right now. Do a tracheotomy, suture it to the end of the skin to keep it open. She said that'll buy us the time we need. I'm thinking about doing like a tape muzzle type of thing. There you go, yes. Even though it's still gonna... It's, no, but it's, it's gonna, gonna stabilize. somewhat stabilize, right? Just a little bit? Yeah, barely. I wouldn't even call that. Dr. Cosmo, wasn't it you that, remember there was a, um, a urethra tear and we said let's just sew something on the outside and it'll heal, wasn't that you? Pretty sure it was you. It was a, there was a dog. No, but what I'm saying is we thought of outside the box and it worked. Oh well, yeah. It um, worked. called Bark and Bitches, but it should be Barks and Bitches, because that's like, I love that name, it's so cute. And she's kind of a friend. So wait, you are so I Sort of. Ah, you're so funny! <laughs> you know, with a bunch of other dogs, so he can run up to people and greet people and people can sit in the uh, bench area and actually spend time with him personally. So Rambo's on to his next great adventure. We're gonna try to place an esophagostomy to splint the face as best as we can, but that's not good. Listen to the bullshit from this one. Say it again, doctor. No. What are you doing? To, what, did, what are you doing right now? Fixing my mess. Fixing she mess. said she's fixing this is my mess. Why? Because it couldn't get to euthanized. Because I wouldn't let her euthanize it because I'm a psychotic no. bitch. And I'm cool with that. Admit it, you would too. Yeah. You know? I'm trying to think of something waterproof that would go around this dog's mouth first so that way the water and blood will come out this way. waterproof Exactly. What if we had a little plastic? Uh-huh. 
kind of tied it. What I'm gonna do is basically make it shut so that the dog Just won't the have tape. a lot I'm of She needs some waterproof tape. At the end of it, your dog's not gonna be in pain, but it's not gonna be visually. Unless you want to spend 20 grand for reconstructive surgery, which you're more than welcome to try and do. But, you know, because they have metal things, you can go to the Angel City, you know, and they'll put a metal, just like in a human, they'll make you a metal jaw. You know, they can do that. We can't do that here because nobody would afford it. <laughs> but I told, she's your sister? I told her that if it doesn't work, I'm not charging her, so. So I mean, I'm doing all this because I don't want to give up on your dog yet. I just, no, you know what? My dog was attacked by my pit. My dog was attacked by my other pit. My, the one that was attacked was a little stinker. Really, she was a jerk. She would kept attacking Boo Boo all the time. And Boo Boo was like, I can kill you. So one day she said, I'm going to kill you. And I was wrestling with her to try and separate them. I was, it was raining, I was slipping. At some point I thought, I, I can't stop this. It's, she's going to kill her. Somehow or another, I, I don't know how I did it, but it, it did stop. And Shelby was torn apart. And I took her to an animal hospital and they said, put her to sleep. I said, no. And they go, this dog needs to be put to sleep. She lived to be 21. Look at him. That's Fat Daddy. Fat Daddy. <laughs> Look at her looking at Fat Daddy. I Fat Daddy's know. only looking at the cat, at I the dog. Know. Oh my god. Don't you even try. And Fat Daddy has a spike collar on. He's the man. How old is he? God, I'd say we've had him for two years. I'd say he's about four or five now. He's the, he's the head of the hospital. He's in that. Uh, Pharmacy, go put him back. He owns the whole place. He goes wherever he wants. And every time he sees a dog, he snaps him. Really? That's why I worry about him, though. I, we didn't think to of, take that back. No, 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 look. We didn't, we didn't think of it. No, we were I, looking I just know, for the know, leg. Now, now this is fucked up. Because I'm about to give this woman a heart attack. You might... They think it's cancer. What? It's possible. Because look, that it doesn't just break. His bone is broke? Look. See? And they're recommending doing chest x-rays to make sure it hasn't metastasized. It and just you look, broke. It's just, he it's melting. Exactly. He was just sleeping. Yeah, but if it's cancer, it would do that. It would be too brittle. I know. I told him you're gonna fucking have a heart attack. God. It's not. <laughs> look, you can look. What? He can get his leg amputated. We can do chemo. There's a lot of stuff. How old is he? Like seven. Okay, so we do X-rays to make sure it hasn't metastasized. Okay, we want to make sure the lungs look clear. What do you think Ginger was? So what do I do with him in the meantime? Well, we want to do some x-rays, right? We want to make sure the lungs look good. If the lungs look good, you have two options. I mean, you can go to an oncologist and, and treat it with chemotherapy, radiation. There's a lot of other options. I mean, there is that, that opportunity. You have that opportunity. You can also get a protocol. We can do the chemo here. Um, the only problem here is because he's a little thick. He needs to lose weight, so he wouldn't do good with three legs unless he lost some weight. What do I do with him now? He's got a broken bone. We, we have to do, we, we, we need to, he needs to stay. He really does. I need Dr. Simmons to look at that. Or you can take him home on, on, on payments. He just doesn't use his leg. No, I don't want him to take him home. 
Right, you want Dr. Simmons to see him? Yeah. If we're going to move forward with an amputation, that would be done Thursday. It'd be doing sooner than that and then later. So first, you have to do x-rays to see? That it hasn't metastasized okay, and there's so nothing going on. We can do that right now. Okay, They're setting right it up now. right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Think positive. Seven. Back leg is not, you know, back leg is not. Look how big Ginger was. She lost her front leg. It's, leg? it's, it's in that back leg. Yeah. It's like right about here. It shouldn't have broke. That's the, that's what Dr. K is saying. She's going, oh, that's, it doesn't break like that unless there was trauma. Now you're saying there isn't any no, trauma. No, sleeping in the middle okay. of the night. So then, he went to get up. yeah. So if there's, if, the, if there's already, you know, cancer in the bone and it kind of turns mushy and it just snaps. You saw the way it just melted. Yeah. It's not a snap. I mean, even I, and I'm not the fucking doctor and I saw that and went, oh shit. But you're handling it okay. Because oh. it's not, you're in denial right now, the I'm five stages. Absolutely. You're in the five stages, that's fine. I mean, with chemo and stuff, you could probably get four more years. Seriously. Amputation, you could still get several years. You know? All right, well, let's see what this does. Right. Because if it's metastasized, then we, then we know we've got something even more going on. Yeah. But your baby's eating, drinking otherwise, right? Uh-huh. Okay, so they're going to come take some, the, some chest x-rays. Okay. okay. This is the FHO. Is this the one, right? Here. Yeah. This is my friend. Your friend? Yeah. The rescue? rescue. She's my friend. Uh-huh. She's freaking out. Looks like it has a patella luxation pretty bad. Mm -hmm. And then bone is broken or bone is the dying? What is yeah, going on? Bone I know. Is, seems like dying. I know. And osteosarcoma. Mm -hmm. So what does she do? Do we just take the leg? Amputation is the, not, it's not spread into the lung no, yet. No, it has not. Looks, it's, it's a, how old is the dog? Come here, look. Is it broken? Sure. You see, the luxation is clearly there, but see, this is broken and it's like melting. So, like, he's saying it's osteosarcoma, and now Dr. K is saying it. So, that's two doctors who do think. So, amputation is the. Is the, mm -hmm. right. the first place the bone uh, osteosarcoma is the lung. Once the lung is very clear and uh, the uh, next uh, option is the uh, amputation. If you amputate, um, then you don't have to do chemo. Uh, a lot of times, no. Oh, but the uh, uh, amputation, pretty much, we gotta take a whole thing out. Right. Because it seems like a, it's very suspicion of the already spread. Right, right, right. But is there any way to find out if we got a clear margin on, on an osteosarcoma? Oh, uh, I don't know. You, we maybe need to talk to the surgeon. Get it, we can tell, but usually they don't spread into the other joint. You know, pretty much they are in this joint only because cancer, they cannot go to the joint area. They are not spread. They cannot right. spread. So then, good. So then the lungs are clear. You've got a good prognosis. Okay. Just got to make your baby lose some weight. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, we're going to have to remove this whole section of skin. And I don't know if we can, we've got some of these flexible because it's a puppy, right? Looks like there's an abscess here. He, he got out a week ago and came home that day or that night like this. We don't do that. Okay. And then, um, yeah, we're just, unfortunately, his ears were cropped. So. And I guarantee you that crop job is a backyard job. 
That's why I very clearly said to him, wow, you know, he knows I know. Because I said, this, this, this side, if I didn't know better, I would think this is backyard vetting. He knows I know. He knows I'm not stupid. When was his ears dropped? Recently? Uh, I was here about four weeks ago. Oh, okay, four weeks ago. Okay. And who did that? Oh, um, I don't know. My brother had got him done. At a vet? Yeah, at a vet. And then again, it's cute, but it almost looks like backyard vetting to me. <laughs> you know how sometimes they pretend like they're vets oh, and they try and do that crap at home to save money? This, this is the shit that pisses me off. I go to prison for trying to help animals, and this guy, it, it, you saw the condition of this dog, the, the rotting flesh. He won't get charged. He won't get anything. Will, nothing will happen to him. And that makes me even angrier because this little puppy is suffering such excruciating pain. I'm surprised the dog is alive. There is no way that is not an injury. That was an injury that went untreated. So we re bandage, re bandage until we can get enough to close a second time. So, in other words, there may be two separate surgeries to close it fully. It may not be 100%. Cause that's I, I think I'd be shocked if we can't do it. Okay. 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 But it's not a small task. And, and it's not impossible that we can do it. I, I think we can do it. I don't know. There's days that I just wake up and between the staff and and the depressing dog situation, cat situation can get to you after a while.